Honey syrup is a common ingredient in a decent amount of cocktails, especially ones that we like. A gold rush. A bee's knees. A bee's knees. And even a cocktail I created called a disgruntled bee. Are you using a high quality honey? Today we picked up three types of honey, two of which are local to our area, and then another one that's a store-bought brand. And we are going to see if they taste the same in a disgruntled bee. So interesting fact, I was 41 years old when I found out that honey can have up to 51% corn syrup in it without being on the label. It's not necessarily corn syrup, it can also be rice syrups and like yeah. a lot of it's Asian imports. Sure. There's a whole episode on honey and import on, it's called Rotten on Netflix. I think it's the first episode, it's very interesting. If your honey crystallizes, then you know you have raw pure honey. If it doesn't crystallize, then you know you have additives added to it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We're going to try both the, all three of these, sample the pure honey right out of the jar, then we made a honey syrup, a three to one, that we'll use in our disgruntled bee. Yes, and that's three parts honey, one part water. Exactly. So let's go ahead and just try the store-bought one. The store-bought brand. And this is the full circle organic 100% honey, is what it says. Right. And it is true source certified, so I believe. So it looks like this could be a honey without additives. But, but again, we won't know because... They don't have to tell us. They don't have to tell us. And these were, all of them were pretty similar in price from five to seven dollars. Yep. This is a mild honey. Yeah, it's very it's mild. Very, it's sweet, but it's not like I don't get any of the floral honey right. that you get in some of the other honeys. Yeah, I don't know, this might be kind of a boring review of tasting <laughs> honey. I mean, it's sweet. It tastes like honey. It tastes but... like honey, but it's, it doesn't have like, sometimes I've had some like very crazy tasting honey. Yeah, I believe these are mostly clover honeys, which are gonna be the more mild ones. Sure. It's the wildflower and the... Right. So this one is from Northeast Iowa and Southwest Wisconsin, the area that we live in. Yes, and they do say that this is 100% pure all natural honey. And we bought this at a local specialty shop. Yep. I like that way more. It's smoother. It has a tangier kind of sweetness mm -hmm. to it. Yes, there's there's absolutely more flavor. There's a little bit of a sour note on mm -hmm. the end. Yep. But it's it's good. Yep, I like that. Mm -hmm. And this is my go-to honey that I this buy is, pretty much every we, time. This is our go-to honey yep. for sure. It's cheap enough. We don't go through a lot of honey, so I don't mind spending a little bit extra because right. it's local. Right. And they're from... Wisconsin. W Wisconsin, yep. They are very proud of the product that they create. Yep, absolutely. And they distribute to our local grocery store, so it's nice. Right. Mm -hmm. It's creamier. The yeah. viscosity is less like thick as these two. I feel like this one's thicker. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I remember that from when I was trying to squeeze it out making this here. Right, but true. also the flavor is bigger. Yeah. This one has the biggest flavor out of all of them. Yep. I do feel like there's less of the the tang mm -hmm. than the middle one. I mean, these are both really good. Buy local honey. It's gonna be 100 yep. percent way better than anything you get. Yes, if you can. If you can. So now we're gonna make a disgruntled bee, a riff cocktail that I created for the hotel I work at a couple months ago. It's one of my favorites, and it's also one of the favorites I like to have new people try because has an Amaro and a Nino in it. It's a nice cocktail for people who aren't used to cocktails and they still like you, they still like sweet things, but you can give them gin and they won't be mad about it. <laughs> they won't be mad. So let's make a disgruntled bee. All right, that's a pretty straightforward cocktail. First initial thoughts, but. They look wildly different. Yep. This one is opaque, so you can't really see through it. Like the light's not really coming through it. Yep. This one is a little bit more see-through, but darker. And this one's kind of in the middle and opaque. It's kind of cloudy. More yeah. Cl more, I mean, they're all pretty cloudy, but that's like the cloudiest of the three. I think this one's the cloudiest of the three. You that's the good. opaque. Yeah, it's just weird. I think too, like with this glass, kind of yeah, it might diffuse it a little yeah. bit. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's find out. Let's try this one first. This one smells almost like nothing. 
That's weird. <laughs> Hmm. Yep. Me and Maron and Nina really pulls through. Um, yep. The citrus is beautiful. Mm -hmm. The honey is there for sweetener, but I don't taste honey. Mm -mm. It's just, you kind of know it's the underlying. Because then it yeah. kind of, like you said, the Maro pulls through the citrus and then the very back sides of the gin on the floral notes. Yep. But, and, but like, like I said, there's very little honey flavor. Right. Yep. This one has more of a smell, and it's more of the back end honey smell. Yep. Interesting. This one's a lot thicker. Wow, that's way more honey. But it is bold. I I feel like I can taste the gin better in this one than I can than I could in the first one. I feel like the first one, everything is just mm. like meshed yeah. and they're separable but not too separable mm -hmm. but this one where the first one the citrus was very prominent this one the citrus kind of takes a back seat it's still there it's still saying hi right. but it's letting the honey flavor and the gin flavor shine through and then the amaro is kind of the blend yeah i agree with all that. together and last but not least hmm it's crazy how wildly different all three of these are. And maybe that's just my palate being crazy, but citrus slightly more honey than I did this one. Yeah. A lot less than I did this one. And- You think there's less honey in this one? No, less honey in this one than oh. this one. Oh, right. But still more than this one. Yeah. I think the citrus shines the most in this one. Yeah. So from top to bottom, least honey, most honey, middle ground. I think the first one's my favorite. It's gonna be a bummer. Because <laughs> this is probably the store-bought store -bought honey. I like the Amaro more, like I think that shines through yeah. one. This one, if you really like honey, this would be the one that you'd want. Right, so I'm just gonna go for it. So the honey I use at work is a store-bought honey that we buy through the kitchen. It's dark, it's deeper, darker, richer than these, just in color. Well, maybe. You know what, I'm changing it. I think this is the Leonard Aviaries. I think this one is the, what is it? Willow Creek. And this one is the Full Circle. You're absolutely correct. I am? Yep. Nice. <laughs> yep. Did a last minute switcheroo because after trying this one and then trying this one directly after, yeah. I tasted more gin, more Amaro. Mm -hmm. And even though I still got a little bit of honey flavor, right? everything, bit a little bit more. Right. And honey rounds out those harsh bitter notes from the gin and the amaro. Yeah, I think I like these two. Nah, oh, man, this is my I, favorite. I just, I don't know. I guess I want the amaro to speak a little bit more. Mm. So maybe if I was to make this with this honey one, maybe back it to a half an ounce. Maybe. Would you stop drinking all of my favorite one? I'm just, you know, I'm doing taste tests. <laughs> I'm making sure that we're giving the viewers the best possible. <laughs> I definitely think you should try this cocktail. Let us know in the comments if you are interested in trying it out. If you do, let us know what you think because I'll say this is definitely one of the ones, you know, I make a lot of cocktails for work and stuff like this. This is one of my more like, I'm super satisfied with it. Yeah, no you know? more tweaking is necessary. Right, like I tried it with bitters, like one dash of bitters one time on a couple people and it get a lot of great feedback. Took it out, tried it again, like, oh, this is way better. So right. we're gonna go ahead and drink some more disgruntled bees. Cheers. Cheers.